my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to go through doing an import and an export from an ICB wireless tool. Uh, to connect to our tool, we'll need to either connect to the USB on the back of the tool or connect via a wireless network. Uh, if you haven't already, please see our other videos on how to do that. Now I'm going to jump into the software on the tool. We're at the home screen on an ICB wireless tool. I'll go to the integrated controller menu, and I'm going to choose the tab here that says export import. And we're going to go ahead and do an export first. So I'm going to export from the tool, which takes all my settings, all the results that are stored on my tool, the events that are stored on my tool, and downloads those into, into a file called a tarball, which is a, basically a Linux uh, type of zip file. So I will select what type of export I want to do. Um, I'm going to do one here with all information, which includes everything from the tool. I could just do the settings and configurations if I just wanted to have like a backup of the settings on my tool or I could choose results if I just wanted to download the results from the tool. The results can be quite a large file typically because we're talking you know, 10,000 results. It can take a little while to zip up and download. Um, so you, you can choose here kind of the best option for what you want to do. I'm going to choose all information and we're going to grab everything in one go here. So I push the export button and we'll see here, you know, it warns me that this could take up to 10 minutes to complete. I'm going to start the process here and we'll download this and take a look at what's inside this file. Okay, now we can see that our export has completed and it's asking me what I wanna do with the file that the tool is, is trying to give me here. Uh, I'm gonna click Save File. I'm gonna save this file uh, right into the Downloads folder here on my browser. We'll see this might take a second to, to download from the tool. I can kinda watch the progress here in the progress bar. It's complete now. I'm gonna click the folder icon to go, we're gonna go look at that file right now. I go to that file and I see that I have a tar.gz file. So to open that file in Windows, I'm gonna use something called 7-zip, which is a free uh, zipping and unzipping utility um, that we can use to take a look at that file. So I'm gonna extract the file here, and you'll see when I extract it, the first time I get a tar file. So I need to extract that again with 7-zip, and this time I'm gonna do it into a folder so that everything I'm uh, extracting here is in one place. So I'll open that folder now, and we'll see that we have quite a bit of different files from the tool. Um, some of these files you'll, you'll see are encrypted. These are diagnostic information for, that we use for our R&D team uh, to determine if there's a problem with the tool or if there's something we need more information on to, uh, to optimize it. So we're gonna take a look at a few things here. So the first file I'm gonna take a look at is the exportinfo.txt. And this is a text file that has some useful information from our tool. So I can see here when I created this file, I can see the software version of my tool. I'm running 3.4.6 on this particular tool. I can see the controller type, the controller serial number, the IAM serial number, and then the IAM and value pack and customer key aren't really, really valid for uh, what we're doing today, but I can also see a lot of other information from the tool. So I'm gonna close this file. So now I'm going to open the file in Excel and we'll take a look at what we have. It already recognizes it as an Excel type of file. If not, you might have to open Excel first and then navigate to this file. But we'll open the file here, and you can see Microsoft Excel is going to open this file, and it looks just like any spreadsheet. Um, I've got a dialog here that lets me know this is read-only. If I want to save a copy, I can do that. So I'm going to hit this miss for that. I'm going to highlight all the rows here and kind of expand it so we can see what's going on. Um, expand a row so we can see all the information in each of these rows. And basically what we see here in each one of these rows is, is a tightening. So we see that if we scroll across here, we have a lot of information. We have the information on the torque, the name of the program it was running, uh, the time it took, the final torque, our limits, all of that information for every rundown is stored here in the results, as well as any VIN or serial numbers that are attached to that tightening. So if you wanna take a look at a really quick way to grab results from the tool, you can do that by doing an export and taking a look at the files that are, that are within the export. The other file here has our event file, and similarly, this will be opened with Excel as well. Um, when I open this file in Excel, we'll take a look at it here, and, and what I see here is every event from the tool. So every time I've lost a network connection or I failed to connect to the license manager, even when I start up the tool, these types of things are logged on the tool. So if I'm having trouble or if I'm, I'm seeing an issue with some process, I can take a look at my event log and have a real quick glance at, at what's going on with the tool. All right, so we're still connected to our tool. I'm gonna to go and now I'm gonna import the file that we just downloaded. I'm gonna start again on my integrated controller menu. I will click on the export import tab. And instead of exporting now, I'm gonna choose import. And when I, when I 
do an import, it's going to let me know that all my settings for the tightening, the batches, accessories, and the controller are going to be replaced with the settings in this file. However, we will not replace the settings for the network, um, the pin, if you have a pin code set up, uh, and the results in the event. They will stay the same as what was on the tool before. When it's finished, the tool will restart, so it's just giving me a warning here to let me know that the tool is going to restart when it finishes this import. So if you're doing this during production, just know that it will restart when the import completes. So you might want to schedule this out time, outside of an area where the tool might need to be used. So I'll hit the continue button, and then it's going to ask me to browse to the file that I want to import. If we remember our files from earlier, the file that I want here is the tar.gz file that we downloaded earlier. I don't want the, the unzip files, it's not going to accept those. So I grab my tar.gz file, I hit continue, and I wait for some time here for it to load these settings to the tool and for the tool to restart. So in this video we covered how to do exports and imports from your ICB tool. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative, and thanks for watching.